Dear seven-year-old Ola Yinka, how are you doing, beautiful? I know you still cringe when I call you that, but you're going to get used to it soon enough, inshallah. I'm writing this letter to you because I want to let you know something. I want to let you know something that I know you deeply needed to hear. Every time you were taunted for being too clever. Every time you were called a teacher's pet because you got answers right in class. Every time you were jeered instead of being celebrated. Every time like you felt like you needed to shrink, like you needed to hide yourself, be less than, like you needed to be less of who you are. These are the very words you needed to hear. Ola Yinka, it's okay to shine brightly. It's okay to be brilliant. It's okay to be you, entirely you. It's not your responsibility to make yourself and the gifts you possess more palatable for others who don't get them or can't connect with them or feel threatened by them. It's also not your responsibility to assume people's discomfort or their lack of acceptance or their fears about your light to be a reflection of who you are. And it's not your job to dim your light for the sake of others' comfort. Because baby girl, it never is about you. It never was about you and it never will be about you. It's entirely them. It's all them and it always will be. You see, there are those who will see your light, recognize your light, acknowledge your light and be warmed by its rays. And they will welcome them, appreciate them and let them into their lives because they allow themselves to beam in their own light too. And there'll be those who see your light as a missile and project onto you thoughts that it's dangerous, that it's harmful and that it has to be shut down entirely. And there'll be those who see your light and feel threatened by it because they are yet to tap into and realize their own light. And so they ask you to tone yours down a little so that they're not left entirely in the dark, nor are they overwhelmed by your brightness. No matter what sort of person or people you encounter, Ola Yinka, know that your light, your warmth, your brilliance, were gifted especially and specifically to you by the king of kings. Baby girl, listen. You, your gifts, were gifted to you specifically by the king of kings. And you best believe and know that the king of kings makes no mistakes. And there are no mistakes in your gifts in your brilliance or in your light. Ola Yinka, when others are uncomfortable or threatened by you, instead of shrinking as though you're in the wrong, instead of wanting to be invisible because people think you're too much, instead of thinking that you need to tone yourself down because some think you're shining too brightly, you make the choice to expand You make that choice to extend and you make that choice to open yourself to yourself regardless of who is or who isn't able or willing to receive you. You weren't created to shrink yourself. You weren't created to hide the gifts that you were bestowed with. You were created to use them in a way that's beautiful, in a way that's meaningful, in a way that's beneficial. And know that you have full permission to do so. And you're completely worthy to. Your brilliance is worthy. You are worthy. And more than anything, I need you to know that you are, you always have been, And you always will be.
enough. Ola Yinka. Raise your head high and know that whoever can't handle your shine, whoever can't handle your light and your brilliance, it's their job to handle their mess and their discomfort. And it's your job to continue to shine. And whoever can't handle that, Simply invite them to seek some shade. I love you, baby girl. Much love. Your adult Ola Yinka.